we will be looking at five types of toxic relationships that you should avoid. Please note that overlap is possible and likely in any of these relationship types. Number one, narcissistic relationships. Have you ever felt that your partner rarely takes your feelings into consideration and everything they do is all about themselves? That they always undermine you and make you feel beneath them? Dr. Lisa Firestone, a psychologist and author, has pointed out that if your partner is all about themselves, always needing attention and affirmation, they may be high in narcissistic traits. Many studies have shown that in a narcissistic relationship, your partner is more likely to engage in manipulative and game-playing behaviors, which are designed to keep you coming back to them. These people usually have a difficult time loving someone else and lack the ability to feel empathy and genuine care for their partner's feelings. Number two, controlling relationships. Does your partner want to have a say in everything you do, including your choice of clothes, your hairstyles, and even your daily schedule? In many relationships, it's normal for one partner to take on more of a leadership role than the other. However, it becomes problematic when one partner needs to have complete control and dominance over everything without considering their partner's feelings. Relationship and family counselor Val Holden has identified controlling as a type of abuse in relationships. People suffering from a controlling relationship usually feel intimidated, insecure, or guilty, and emotionally abused by their partners. Some signs of controlling relationships include overactive jealousy, invading personal boundaries, and attempting to isolate you from your friends and families. If these signs ever appear in your romantic relationship, it's important to take them seriously and to make sure you're safe and can leave if you need to. Number three, codependent relationships. When in love, it's normal to depend on your partner more than you would with other people. But are you finding that you cannot live without your partner? that they do everything for you that you couldn't do yourself. These are signs of codependency. Fort Behavioral Health, a Texas-based mental health organization, has defined this type of relationship as a kind of dysfunctional relationship, where one person is a caretaker and the other person takes advantage. It's worth noting that codependency can severely affect both sides of the relationship, not only the caregiver. Just like drugs, codependency is highly addictive and can be extremely destructive to your mental health. It allows one partner to sink deeper into the love addiction while forcing the other to sacrifice certain things in order to fulfill their partner. Fortunately, medical news today has found that taking small steps towards separation in the relationship, for instance, getting involved with a new hobby, friends, or activity independently, can help form a more positive and balanced connection with your loved one. Number four, scorecard relationships. Give and take is a primary rule in a healthy relationship. In a good, loving relationship where you both genuinely care about the other's well-being, you will find that offering and taking actions towards each other is enjoyable and delightful. But have you ever noticed that your partner is always keeping track of what they're doing for you? That if everything isn't perfectly 50-50, they take an issue with it? This might be because they actually keep score of who contributes more in the relationship. This action of scorekeeping seems like a normal thing to maintain the balance in a relationship. However, Dr. Jeffrey Bernstein, in his book, Why Can't You Read My Mind, has pointed out that this type of behavior can be extremely destructive to your loving relationship. It nurtures negative feelings as your partner only focuses on what you're not doing versus what you are doing. Whenever this situation happens to you, it's best to resist the urge to defend yourself or counterattack. Instead, you can have an open conversation with your partner. If they really love you, they will listen to your feelings and give you guys a chance to reconnect and reboot. And number five, abusive relationship. And lastly, the most dangerous type of toxic relationship is when one is being physically or emotionally abusive to the other. According to Kids Health, a nonprofit mental health organization, abuse means treating someone with violence, disrespect, cruelty, harm, or force. And when someone treats their partner in any of these ways, it's called an abusive relationship. Abusive relationships can be physical, sexual, or emotional, or it could be all of these. It's not always obvious to realize that you're in an abusive relationship and it's common for the victim to believe that it's their own fault and that they somehow deserve the abuse. This type of relationship can coincide with any of the other types and be difficult to get out of. However, 
It is important to know that you are never to blame for any abusive behaviors from your partner. Some emotionally abusive relationships look perfectly normal on the outside. Abusers come in all forms and can be anyone. It's important to remember that there are people who can help you every step of the way if this situation ever happens to you. If you're feeling threatened and harmed in your relationship, it's best to seek help from someone you trust and explore other options that can get you out. Loving is all about bringing you joy and happiness, not sorrow, pain, and fear. Getting out of a toxic relationship with someone you are deeply in love with might seem impossible, but often you will find the other side to be brighter than what you could imagine. If you're dealing with a toxic partner, there are a number of organizations that can offer you help and support. Talk to someone you trust, such as a friend, counselor, or youth worker. Remember that you're not alone. Share this video with anyone who may benefit from it and be sure to like and subscribe to keep up with Psych2Go's uploads. Take care.